guys so today we'll be working on another prolog program in my previous video i had already explained the concept of list in prolog and had also elaborated it with the help of an example in today's program uh, in this today's video i'm going to take it a little further in this video i'll be explaining the usage of two inbuilt functions which are there in prolog length and what i'll use these functions to find the length of my list and further print whether my list contains odd number of elements or even number of elements in it so let's get started with the code or coding part so i'll make a, a new file all right the name let's say odd even all right and the extension is pl yes i'll edit it so we'll directly start with the programming part so odd even and i'll write the list here head and tail of the list just mentioned here and length t comma l greater than equal to zero so before writing it for though i want to explain you guys these two statements so this statement this is length t comma l this is our tail which we had retrieved from here and this is the new variable we will be storing our length so this is our inbuilt function so this function basically helps us to find the length of the variable or list which we have passed it here and we'll store it in a new variable which is l so we'll get our length from here and we'll check out the condition whether uh, if the length is greater than 0 then we'll execute or run this particular portion else we'll do something else so now if the length is greater than 0 so what we want to do is we want to first of all increase the value or uh, increase the length so we'll take another variable which is l1 and we'll increase the length which we had re uh, received from uh, this function length function so why why we want to increase the value by one the reason is very simple uh, because we have just calculated the length of the tail part and the length uh, will be increased by one because the head part is left as it is and in my previous video i had already explained that the head part consists of only one element and the tail part can have more than one element so we'll increase uh, increase it at one with one and uh, the next statement is l2 so before writing it further i also want to explain you this two lines these two lines so basically what this more mod function will do is it will just carry out the modulus uh, this is a normal mathematical operation uh, this number and this number it will carry out the modulus between these two numbers and the value will be stored in l2 and if that value is equal to equal to 0 that means if let's say 4 modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 and yes it is equal to equal to 0 that means that the number is even otherwise that is odd so that is the basic concept which we had used so even length so um, instead of directly printing uh, uh, right here uh, or using right statement here i want to show you guys another way of uh, you, uh, printing something else and if let's say the condition is not met then we'll do odd so now as soon as the pointer will come here if let's say this statement is uh, has become true then the pointer will come here so it will find for this particular uh, statement in this uh, whole program 
so I'll mention it here even length all right and we'll write uh, use our write statement uh, write function here this is again an inbuilt function okay we'll uh, uh, get something like uh, even length okay even elements and the list and if let's say odd length all right there is no space in between these two words right so we'll say something like odd elements and the list all right i had missed period here so one thing you must remember while dealing with prolog programs is that uh, the terminating thing which we use in most of our programming languages is majorly semicolon so you better uh, watch out that uh, you don't use semicolon here uh, we always use period here all right so i hope now it's uh, it should work so let's run it and see whether it's working or not I'll just double click on it and a pop up will come. I'll just have to resize it. Alright, I think that's fine. So, odd, even, and then after odd, even, I'll just pass, let's say, uh, one, two, three. So the answer should be this, odd elements in the list. So let's hope for the best, but it's showing an error. So let's try to figure out what is the error in this particular example. I'll just have a quick look at this particular whole code and try to figure out the problem. Hope it's fine. Even length and the names are also good. Odd even. I don't think it should show any kind of error. Mm. I think that everything is fine. Let's run it again. Okay, I'll quickly resize it. Okay, there is one error warning. That's just warning. Odd even and I'll give three elements in it all right I have done a mistake so let's uh, write it again one two three and I'll enter so yes it's working fine so we can see that in this particular example we have given three elements one two and three in the list and it is showing us odd elements in the list so now um, the problem was that I had not given space in between them so you better watch out these two uh, these small mistakes because uh, uh, I don't know why uh, prolog cannot uh, figure it out but still you need to uh, be careful and suppose that I change it and the length becomes 4 so the answer should be even elements right so yes it's working right now so let's test it for another example with the fractional paths or the decimal paths in it 0 and right now it contains 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 elements in it and it should say that odd elements in the list. Yes, it's working fine. So that's it for now guys and uh, thank you for watching this video.
Hope you enjoyed it and you can find the code for this particular program on my blog that is mycoolycode.blogspot.in and you, you can find the link of that blog in the descriptions down there. See you again.